Good afternoon, this is Jeff of Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 6634 Southwest 153rd Avenue here in Beaverton. We are located at the, uh, we're in the front of the house, we're just inside the garage though, just barely inside the front right corner. We have a four inch ABS clean out. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water currently running, just zeroed out there at the base of the clean out. And if the clean out will allow, I'll try to, it's kind of a funky, clean out setup. I'll try and run it back the camera backwards. Normally clean outs tee directly into the top of the pipe or manipulating the camera back and forth is very easy. This is tying into the side of it, which is just harder to manipulate the camera that way. We'll try. If I haven't mentioned already, we're in four inch ABS plastic right now. Now transitioning here into six inch concrete pipe. So far ABS pipes looking good. Now you've got a uh, joint right here. It appears to have dirt coming through it. And I can see earthworms moving in and out of it. It's hard to see, they're very small, but you can see the tail of two earthworms sticking out there. One of them is pulling into that. So that joint is compromised. It is not affecting functionality as far as flow goes. You got another one right here doing the same thing. And that does appear, I think you've got a small, well, it's potentially a root sticking out of it. It's, it's hard to tell that that appears to potentially be roots there. There's a bunch of junk sitting over the top of it. It obscures our view, but that I think that's what you've got there. Anyhow, when it comes to these joints, and concrete will do this over time, the joints unfortunately become compromised. I just went past another worm right there on the top left-hand corner of the screen. It's small and hard to see if you don't look at screens very often for sewer lines, but you got another worm there. That just tells me that, that most, if not all, these joints in the concrete, technically speaking, are compromised and to a certain extent open to the ground. Again, as far as flow goes, it's not affecting that at this point in time. But I do have to recommend updates on those. Uh, the reason for that is, uh, you know, the joints are unlikely letting sewage escape the line because the joints are still fairly tight. But when you get hydraulic pressure from the outside, when you get water saturation in the ground, it can force dirt and groundwater into the sewer line, which can lead to hydro erosion over time. That's where the, the support gets eroded out from underneath the pipe and it causes the line to settle. At this point, it doesn't appear that hardly any settling has occurred at all. And the way that I would be looking at doing a repair on this thing for sure is I, I, all basically 100% of this line is under concrete. If you end up doing an update on the concrete, I would highly recommend looking into an epoxy liner system which is trenchless. You would not have to dig this stuff up. You've got a four inch access point that you've got the, the, the makings of a great candidate for a, a liner. We're gonna go locate while the line uh, drains out here. All right, this located, the line terminates at the main on 153rd. The depth of the main there, I'm getting around 10 feet. The, the locator's coming in a little bit wonky there. Part the, the roadway is steep may actually be steeper than that, or I'm sorry, deeper than that. And those stringy things at the top of the pipe there, those are just cobwebs, those are not roots there. And you, here and there, you've got these big clumps of debris in the line. I think by and large, most of those are, as far as I can tell, they look like wads of wipes or something of that nature. They don't appear to be toilet paper. And when it comes to rougher concrete pipe, these older pipe products like this, you want to really try and keep those out of the line. You know, and it looks like you may have a dirt clod sticking out of the pipe right here. That's coming out of the sidewall here at about 44 or 45 feet. I think you actually have some kind of crack there. That's a big dirt clod sticking out the pipe wall there. That's what it appears to be. I can't see underneath it. But you can see as we go here, you have all these dirt patches on the sidewall of the pipe, those big brown circular spots. That's dirt. And I don't know if that stuff is, is, is flowing out of the pipe joint down the sidewall like that, or if, it, if that stuff is just straight coming through the sidewall through small cracks. Again, that, that too right now is not affecting flow. But I am going to recommend a full update here to all the concrete concrete pipe. Basically, every joint in the line here is compromised to one extent or the other.
Yeah, I'm getting here right where the driveway skirt meets the street where I'm getting around nine feet deep. So I think that main lateral connection is probably deeper than 10 feet, which is really only terribly important if you're doing a trench or a trench style repair. The liner system is trenchless. But you combine those depths and everything together and it's, it's I mean, if you can do the liner on it, that's how I'd be doing it personally. It'll save a lot of money not cutting the concrete. And I'm going to do kind of sparse paint markings. The whole line's under the driveway. I don't want to paint the heck out of the driveway because it, on dry, hot days like this, it can last for quite a long time. So they'll just be small paint markings. I've got one at the main, one right at the street edge, and I'll put another one right here at the transition joint. It's from here at 20, about 27 feet to 57 feet. I would recommend the update. And here I'm getting about eight feet deep. The line is oriented right up against the left side edge of the driveway. That's if you look at the house from the street and around eight feet deep there. Again, I recommend that repair there because essentially every joint in the concrete there is compromised. You've got dirt scattered throughout the whole line. But as far as flow goes, that is not being affected at this point in time. So it's functioning in the regards of conveying sewage from point A to point B. By and large, you may be letting little bits here and there out of those pipe joints. That's very hard to gauge when those joints are as tight as they are. Water likes to take the path of least resistance. So you can have some small spacing between a joint and the water will just cruise right over the top. Most of the stuff that's, that's going in and out of the joint is stuff coming in from the outside of the line. So if repairs are not done, I would recommend re-scoping the line every one to two years to keep an eye on things. Um, the line does run next to a bunch of hedges. And when you have compromised joints, it is more likely that roots can penetrate those joints. Yeah, I'm trying to flip the camera around here. I just don't know if it's going to work. It's... Yeah, the camera does not want to flip around here. It, it's a it's a very awkward, difficult one to flip around. So far, all the ABS pipe I've seen here looks fantastic. It drains very nicely, and we have covered everything on the exterior of the of the line here at this point. So at this point, we do have good flow of the main lateral connection despite the joints. We do have some of that debris in there I, I mentioned earlier. It's in six inch diameter pipe. You know, I'll, I'll recommend you clean it out of there, but it's, it, I don't see any secondary buildup over the top of those what look like wipes collected in the line. So it would be nice to get them out of there, but they don't appear to be affecting functionality in a huge way. And, and a lot of that's due to the fact you're in six inch diameter pipe. It's large and most your debris getting down a toilet hole is somewhere around two inches in diameter. So you've got leeway there for stuff to get around it. I'll recommend cleaning it, but it's it's not a, a nightmare scenario that you need to lose sleep over to get those cleaned out of there. The time where I, I, I can predict that causing problems is if people are putting more things like that down the line, paper towels, tampons, grease, huge balls of toilet paper that could run into those things and potentially start building up. But at, at this point in time, none of that has occurred. And if you decide to do any repair work, make sure a rescope is done to check the work. All the ABS pipe is in great condition. It's the concrete that I'm recommending updates on from 27 to 57 feet.